Welcome to this video. In today's video, we'll be looking at the measurement of angles. So we're very familiar with the measurements of angles. 45, 90, 135, 180, and so forth, going right back around to 360 degrees. We use them every day with our measurements. So I have an example here using a protractor, which many of you use somewhere in school. What would you say the size of this angle is? It looks to be somewhere between 30 and 40 at a quick glance. If we blew it up a little bit bigger, some might say, oh, it's pretty close to 35. And if we blew it up even more, we can see it's pretty much between 35 and 36. It's approximately 35 and a half, give or take a little bit. Now, on a scale, if we have a measurement of 35 degrees and the other end 36 degrees, 35.5 is right in the middle. 35.5 is an example of a decimal measurement. Now, we want to look at how we can go from a decimal measurement of angle to a DMS, a degrees, minutes, seconds. So the D stands for degrees and the symbol is still the same. And it measures exactly the same as a decimal angle would when we measure something, say, 30 degrees. It still is 30 degrees. But instead of using point something on the end, we're now looking at an alternative way of measuring those partial degrees. So the M stands for minutes. I'll we'll use this one dash. So each degree, much like the minutes for clock, can be divided up to 60 parts called minutes. And then those minutes can be further divided up into 60 smaller parts called seconds. So the S stands for seconds. And the symbol we use is the double dash, degrees, minutes, seconds. So again, the minutes and the seconds are used to express the fractions of a degree. And they go up to 60, much like a clock would have 60 minutes in an hour or 60 seconds in a minute. So let's have a look now at this clock and consider the rotation of a clock as a fraction. We can have a quarter of a rotation and that is represented in terms of minutes as 15 minutes. We can have a half rotation of a clock face, and that represents 30, or half past, when we're thinking of hours. We can have three quarters of a rotation, that represents 45 minutes. And finally, a full rotation would be considered as 60 minutes, making up the hour. Okay, let's now look at that as a decimal. Again, a quarter rotation. Well, instead of saying a quarter, we could call this 0.25. So a decimal, for a quarter is 0.25. So 0.25 of a degree is, in DMS sense, exactly 15 minutes. It's a quarter of a degree. Half the way around, 0.5 is represented by 30 minutes. So half a degree is 30 minutes. Three quarters of a degree would be 0.75. It's represented by 45 minutes. And finally, a full degree would represent 60 minutes. So let's look now at some examples of converting decimal angles into degrees, minutes, seconds measurements. So example one, if we measured an angle at 20 degrees exactly, 20.00 degrees, that would still be just 20 degrees and no minutes. There's no leftover parts, it's exactly 20. 20.25 20 degrees, that would be 20 degrees and 0.25 is a quarter of a full degree, so that would be 15 minutes from off the clock. 20.5 degrees, that would be 20 degrees because the degrees doesn't change and the 0.5 of a degree becomes 30 minutes, it's half of the full 60. Example 4, 20.75, 0.75 is three quarters way around and that's represented by 45 minutes. So 20 degrees and 45 minutes. There's the simple examples that we can find from off the clock. Let's look at a couple more examples. How about an angle at 30.05 degrees? I don't know how you work out the 05. It's not an easy example. Well, here's the way in which we can do this. That equals 30 degrees and 0.05 of a full 60 minutes. So 0.05 is the decimal of a full 60 minutes gives me 03 minutes. So 0.05 times 60 gives me 03. So 30.05 is the same as 30 degrees and 3 minutes. How about 30.20? It's going to be 30 degrees. Now 0.20 is 0.2 of a full 60, which gives me 12. So that becomes 30 degrees and 12 minutes. 
Example 7, 30.6, so 30 degrees, the 0.6 of the 60 gives me 36 minutes. So that represents 30 degrees and 36 minutes. 30 degrees, 0.8. Now the 0.8 is 0.8 lots of 60 of a full 60. 0.8 of a 60 is 48 minutes. So 30.8 degrees is equal to 30 degrees and 48 minutes. Finally, let's look at some more challenging examples. My final set of examples. How about something as ridiculous as 40.25833 degrees? Let's try this. Well, it's going to be 40, and then I've got 0.5833 left over. I times that by 60, and that comes out to 15.4998. So that gives me 40 degrees, 15.49998 minutes. Now that's still not a nice even number. So let's look at that 0.49998 and times that by 60 to work out what that fraction is of a minute in seconds. So it ends up that 40.25833 degrees is equivalent to 40 degrees, 15 minutes and 30 seconds. Another example, 40.48056. That's 40 degrees with a leftover of 0.48056 times 60 gives me 28.8336 minutes. Now that's 28 minutes with a leftover of 0.8336 times that by 60 gets it back into seconds and that's approximately 50 seconds. Last two examples, 40.64444. 4444, yeah, four of them. That's gonna give me 40 degrees with 0.64444 times 60, which will give me 38.664 minutes. Now that 0.664 minutes can be further multiplied by 60 to get into seconds, and that's nearly 40 seconds. So that would be equivalent to 40 degrees, 38 minutes, and 40 seconds. And our final example is 40.87083 degrees. That's 40 with a leftover of 0.87083 times by 60 gets me 52.248 minutes. Now that decimal of a minute, the 0.2498, if I times that by 60, that will give me the corresponding seconds. So it's very, very close to 15. It comes out to 40 degrees, 52 minutes, and 15 seconds. Now there is, of course, an easier way to do this. We can use the TI calculator to do this calculation. So let's see now how we convert 40.25833 degrees into a degrees a minute seconds measurement. The first thing you have to do when using the TI calculator is make certain that your mode is set to degrees. So we hit the mode button. You can see at the top here it is in degrees. There are other options available for angles but we want them in degrees. So that's fine. We go 40.25833 degrees. And we want to convert that to degrees minutes seconds. So we go to our angle. It's a second function. Second function angle. And we'll scroll down to option six it is to degrees minutes seconds we press enter hit it again and our value of 40.25833 in degrees minutes seconds is converted to 40 degrees 15 minutes and effectively rounding up 30 seconds example 10 we're repeating these four examples that we just did previously the long way what would 40.48056 degrees be in degrees minutes seconds and again, press second function angle and down to option six and press DMS, press enter again. And that converts to 40 degrees, 28 minutes and approximately 50 seconds. Example 11, what would 40.64444 degrees be in degrees, minutes, seconds? So there's our decimal. We want to convert it to DMS, degrees, minutes, seconds, second function angle. We drop down to option six on the menu to degrees, minutes, seconds. We press enter. And that converts to 40 degrees, 38 minutes, and 39.9, effectively 40 seconds. And finally, example 12. What would 40.87083 degrees be in degrees, minutes, seconds? And second function, angle, down to option six, DMS, press enter, press enter again. And that converts to 40 degrees, 52 minutes, and rounding to 15 seconds. The final skill we want to investigate is using the TI calculator to go from degrees, minutes, seconds back to decimal. So this is the reverse of our previous example. So let's look at four examples. Example 13, let's use a TI calculator to convert 60 degrees, 15 minutes, and 24 seconds into a decimal value. 
let's enter in our values. So first of all, we type in the 60 degrees, second function angle, and the first option is degrees. So we press degrees. Now we put in the minutes, 15, second function angle, and we drop down to the second option, which is the minutes. And finally, we put in the seconds, 24 seconds, second function angle, one, two, three, enter. We enter that and that converts our 60 degrees, 15 minutes and 24 seconds into 60.25666 recurring degrees. Example 14, let's use a calculator to convert 60 degrees, 23 minutes and 36 seconds back to a decimal. 60, second angle degrees is already there, our first option. 23, second angle drop down one or minutes 36 second angle drop down to option three for seconds so 60 degrees 23 minutes and 36 seconds when we press enter that gives us an angle of 60 degrees 0.39333 recurring example 15 let's convert 60 minutes 41 degrees and 43 seconds back to a decimal 60 second function degrees 41 second function minutes 43 second function one two three seconds so 60 degrees 41 minutes and 43 seconds converts to 60.69527 recurring degrees and finally let's convert 60 degrees 55 minutes and three seconds back to a decimal 60 second function degrees, 55 second function minutes, 03 second function angle, third option is seconds. So 60 degrees 55 minutes and 3 seconds converts to 60 degrees 0.9175. Thank you for watching this video. If you could please like, share, comment and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.